Hello everyone and welcome to the Spy Test tutorial series. In this particular tutorial, we will be learning the difference between skip and if skip markers. So let's begin. Spy Test allows us to control the execution of the test using the markers like skip and if skip. These markers help to manage the scenarios where the certain test should not run under the specific conditions. So there are two markers. One is skip and other is if skip. Now, first, let's discuss about the skip marker. So the skip marker is used to skip a test unconditionally. This means that there is no condition. You don't need to provide any condition. You just want to skip based on any reason. So it is helpful when you know beforehand that a particular test is irrelevant or incomplete and should not run. Okay, so how you can define that one? So simply go here and type by test dot mark dot skip and here you can simply provide the reason for the skip for example i say reason is equals to functionality not developed or is incomplete okay so what happens is that when i run this one it will skip this particular test okay so we have made the changes in this test underscore example okay and let's run this one here and simply i will be running this test underscore example and let's go with verbose over here and press enter so what happens here is that you see that one is skipped right and here it says that some warnings we will look into that because we need to register this one as well but here you see that this particular test got skipped because the functionality is not developed and by providing the reason it is very much clear that why this test got skipped during the particular testing execution okay now when we talk about the if skip so this is basically based on the condition so when the condition is met then in that particular case this test will not get executed okay so how we can define uh, this one so simply let me change this one from here and simply dot skip if okay and here the first thing is that we need to provide a condition here okay and what i will do is that i will say for example let me go here and let me create a one variable so i'll say feature underscore available equals to false okay and here inside this one what i will say that first i need to provide condition not feature underscore available okay so if this is not this means this is not available okay based on this condition then I will say, okay, my reason is equals to, I will say feature not available. Okay. So feature not available. Okay. And now if I run uh, this one, now this is a conditional one, right? So if I go here and run this one. So again, you see that the one got skipped over here and again, but this is conditional. So here you need to provide a condition. Sometimes you need uh, to execute your Selenium skips on the specific browser version. You need to check that either the latest version of Chrome is available in order to execute your test. In some cases, you want to check the operating system. For example, you only want to execute your test on the Windows or the Linux, right? Maybe in some cases, there is a condition that a particular test should be executed before this one. If, if that particular test does not get executed, this this particular test should not get executed, right? So there are so many scenarios in the automation testing where you need to use this skip if and skip, right? And when we talk about the key differences between them, so so I will categorize into the different areas like condition. So skip is always skip the test. There is no condition for this one, right? If skip or skip if is basically skip the test based on a condition. 
then the syntax in the syntax we need to provide a condition for skip if and the reason whereas for the skip we just need to provide a reason for this one okay and use case for these one is that when we talk about the skip so basically when the test should never run when we know that okay this should not run but if a skip or the skip if is used when there's some condition okay skipping depends on a runtime check on the runtime it will go and check this condition if that condition meets it will run that particular test case as it will not execute this test okay so what also you can uh, do is that you can combine you can combine both skip and skip if okay so what i can do is that for example um i will write so so this means that combining means that my one test skip test case is a skip the other is basically a skip if so this is a skip if and if i go here and let me go here and scroll down and here what i'll say simply pytest dot mark dot we have skip right so now in this particular file we have three test cases one is marked as skip if and other is marked as as a skip over here okay so simply i will uh, provide a reason over here reason equals to functionality is partially developed okay and now let's run this one and see what happens so you see that one passed two skipped right and if i go over here you will see that this is skipped and why this is skipped both the reasons are mentioned over here right so here in, in in our previous tutorial when we are executing the markers we are seeing some warnings or some messages over here and the reason is that if we are using a custom marker then we need to register those ones so in, in our previous tutorial where we have categorized our test for the smoke or the regression so basically those were the custom markers right so for those we need to make them register so that pytest should recognize them as a marker but skip if and skip is basically a built-in marker right so both so let me kind of include this uh, tutorial so basically skip and skip if markers are essential tools in the pytest for controlling the execution of the test case use skip for the unconditional skips and use skip if for the dynamically condition based so if they will meet some condition then that in that particular case that particular test will not be executed so this will actually ensure that your test tools is efficient and adaptable to different testing environments thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial